Let's do it. Jumping right back into things, we do have Erin Girl now in front of us, right? And now the gauntlet has been kind of thrown down, and VP have said, Look, all right, Liquid, you, you had your fun. You had your fun. Calm it down. So, number one. So, at this point, Rich, I mean, where, do your, where does your mind turn to? What are you looking for in these games? I want to expand on what Mike said, where Go this is after Alt's playground. There's, we've seen a lot of wins coming out of them on Erin Girl. They always perform well on this map. This is the time that they really need to step it up, understand the lay of the land. Okay, VP, ramifications, answering back at the last game of Miramar is huge. Getting a win on the board today, just one because we know throughout Europe so far, one or two has got people into money. But getting just one on the board already is more than enough to just keep the pressure on Team Liquid, keep the pressure on anybody else for winning this whole event. If they are gone today without a win, then it really does come down to the wire. So that amount of pressure is just taken off for all but a moment but after all we need to see some big wins now we need to see one two of them see if they can get up there with team liquid see if they can get up there with vp if they can get one on the board great it keeps them in the running but for every single person in this lobby lauren <laughs> genuinely vp is absolutely the prime target if anybody wants a chance of winning this other than them they have to stop them from grabbing wins they have to stop them getting to late game it's easier said than done you know just kill forehead it's an open field, Rich, yeah. Where Heroic is, has got some cover, a bit of woods, but other than that, right where SMB ends, Breadline, there is not much to play with here. This is open fields and trees and bits and pieces. Uh -oh. A power line up two, and the power uh -oh. play from Squeaky, but it's a pull-up. Everyone here just piling on in. This is an absolute mess between these two. And as it stands, it looks like Redline have taken the bulk of the hit. Absolutely clueless, they didn't know where to go, what to do. They're down to one, making none. VP and Ents sweep the floor with them, and Ents will be able to get the res on Squeaky if they have the right timing on it. Banging response as well from Ents to only lose one player and put him in a position where it's probably revivable with smokes. Yes, yeah, she'll have to commit to it a fair amount, but still, Ents been able to take that position without losing people dead to rights isn't bad at all. It yep. also gives them access to the next compounds along from them. Danamon has not made his presence noted just yet. I do not believe. RV need to be careful, and I have just noted... Oh, yep, we're on screen. RV noticing Liquid's presence will be an interesting one. That basically means that Liquid is landlocked now. Patience being shown, he's dead. Very cautious on this. It does spot out Danimon. The aim, it's gone, it's gone astray. Oh no, it's never nice. And there we go, it's example to get it in the end. A little unfortunate for dead. We've seen him be sharp, but that's not the best. The first couple of taps weren't bad. <laughs> Ted's having Silent. a day. Look at this. Silent follow up. Most of the you know they're in trouble. Yeah. Liquid have finally got to do the maneuver. They'll have heard the shots from Navi, and to be fair, this is the best time to do it. But we said Ens had moved on onwards. The pull up is here. All of them are outside of the cars, and the damage is already done. Navi from a different angle altogether. That's rough for Team Liquid because they only have one avenue of approach from this. The good nade, the follow up from Rustam Ma is absolutely phenomenal. The nail in the coffin about to go down. Liquid, 14. You're right. You got to look at Narvi there to set them into motion as well. That first knock, put them on the back foot, and then Rustamar just went. Thanks for that, boys. We'll take the rest. Don't worry. Phase. I mean, yes, quiet entry on first approach, but it wasn't particularly deep in the circle, and they're going towards Exhalation. Now, Exhalation just got in their vehicle, so they're looking to maybe hit that next circle. Timing just right on it. There it is. VP again, man. They're looking strong for this. This could be the resurgence we were waiting for. Said, all right, Liquid, you're going to go back to back. We'll do the same. They might try it, but that's a big denial. Eight, he gets his face taken off by Salik there. Lovely work with the Balti. Yeah, good stuff. Not in a position really to go for the revive. If he did go that way, mm -hmm. he's going to have to fight it off against all of Exhalation mm -hmm. who are collapsing on this. Um, it's only for one point. Maybe they're hoping there's some more here. I say one point, one frag on the board, one body at least. Yeah. But if they can keep it clean, I suppose it denies any... They don't realize two players are in there. You know, the... Oof! 
Where did that come from? Second one on a follow-up as well. SMB are going to send their own, but I'll tell oh you God, what, that's good. a headache. That's right in his face. Rip nine down. Second one there to confirm the kill. Lazar bleeding out. Nothing he can do. Apocalypse all alone to try and hold the line. This is looking a little rough, and honestly, this is looking like a good entry point for Skade to try and make something up against it. If they put the vehicles down, if they now force him to use his utility... Oh, even he's not safe trying to get the res onto that. Someone else can see within this fight. BBL is flying Exhalation. this way. They want some kind of a response, some kind of... Oh, you're right. They wiped him out in the previous round, right? This would be a, a bit of vengeance. Oh, the silent pull up too. Smash was quiet as anything, quiet as a mouse. And now the nade's going to come down and they're outside of the shack. There it is. The first one goes too wide. But keep in mind, the Exhalation were pulling up as well. But they went towards Skade. So this is a bit of a different fight on a different front, but both very, very similar. Now Smash trying to take so much space for himself, but Trally is by his side. Flash is going in, nades coming through. SMB, man, this ain't pretty. And one nade is going to get you both, and that could be it. It's gone in, Apocalypse. It's done for BBL. Claim it. The territory is theirs. Bring the vehicles in. Have a safe place to work off the back off for now. Skage still has to advance forward, and they've caught for exhalation. Exhalation that unfortunately is a bit out on a whim here. They've built themselves up against a rock. There's no compound. There's no house. The safety net is limited and it's been taken away from them slowly but surely. First nade in. Second one goes up. Damage still done. Da boom. There is a, a minor pause while Anonymous goes down, but ultimately it probably won't matter. Sakura is sending it in. He's got his teammate by his side as well. Nookie can hold the left. Sakura can take the right. They've still got to be careful. They don't just advance too far into the open over extend because then heroic gets eyes on the prize then heroic can then get involved with the fight wait and see if they do it oh gustav he has to keep moving forward the blue's gonna start chunking way too much and he can't be left behind beamy oh baby does he make it away yes and gustav can continue forward i don't think there's gonna be much left for him here but he can keep trying to work in the shadows of heroic and i, I I'm waiting for that next circle. Does VP get it again? Where else is this going to go? Okay, a little bit more north. BBL grinning now. Four alive. Good compound. Good area. Not compound. Shack, I guess, on the hillside, but it's very strong. Skade might be a little frustrated they didn't push harder on that to take it away from I, whoever it was just they, they got those couple of kills onto. They could have maybe pushed that, but what would they have known? They didn't know it was going this way, but BBL now gets to really enjoy it, and they get the flush too. Anyone from Heroic turns around. Gustav's a dead man, but you'd have to suggest they don't look this way. I suppose some of the big teams, they always check every... Okay, they're having a quick peek. Yeah, some of these high-end players will always look behind them just to make sure there's no snake in the grass lurking. They've already, unfortunately, lost Vazku to what we assume is a technical difficulty. To have the knife in the back from a wild Gustav will be all that more punishing. Blue's here. He's got to go soon. This is going to really start to hurt. Though he has to instantly strike. I was wondering eventually who was going to go for the pull-up. It looks like it's going to be Na'Vi on to ends. The rest of the cavalry will be here. They'll be aware of that. Everyone knocks on Heroic, but it should be open and live. Nice. Kicking Melman straight through the window. The bars, the drive by is there. Tixu denies it, puts him to rest, but instantly responding on Leo. From upside of the hill, can get involved in towards this. And this is the vultures. Everyone now just lurking on the outskirts. Getting the pick of the bunch, picking up the scraps of whatever is, ever is left over from this. Here he has managed to make it inside the building, and ultimately we'll take it into a one versus one versus Melman. Uh, excuse me, example. Uh, I, I I mean, these two have been nuts for their side as well. That's the crazy part. Like We've seen Diggory going clutch. We've seen Example pulling off 1v4s. They are going to go for the res, at least for Enzo side. Example doesn't have that luxury right now. He is very much alone, but he can maybe disengage away from the compound. Heroic are in danger. They did have that one knock, and now they've got another. Vicky burns alive as Dex does find the shot on towards him. Five, doing enough damage to slow them down, but it looks as though Heroic will be able to power forward. There is a one player up, though. Naz has made this difficult. Page being picked off, leaving T-Bone on his own, no longer able to get that res or focus on what he'd maybe want to do is recover. Heroic go down in ninth. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Unfortunate set of circumstances will send them in ninth. Get out of it, get in and go again, unfortunately. It's just one of those circumstances we have to deal with.
Naz goes for the vehicle. Physics and Dex will go down. This is going to start to chunk, remember, and start to hurt. So he'll be forced to hit the meds before he even gets out of this one. But if VP realizes he's still there, it should be dead on arrival. The Tulans is lurking at a different angle altogether, and it's good. It's so, so good. It's it's containment, right? Put himself on the road like this, yep. understands the lay of the land to where people need to try and make some kind of a stance against his teammates. So one good, good nade could get another one. Like, this is phenomenal to be able to put it... Car just absolutely smashed him, and they are gone. What a way to protect yourself. What a way to just wipe out on all comers and give them no means of getting to the foothold of the territory you're controlling. I, this is something that we want to, I, I really want to highlight is how well they take space as VP. It's something that I loved with Pio is that he was always able to find great deals of space for his side. That next position to go to, maybe. It's underestimating how valuable that could be, right? If Because VP right now have very little chance at actually getting into that circle, right? Like, look at their positioning, look at everyone's eyes on them. Him finding this bit of space, that next step is huge. It's given them a chance, whereas in reality, they'd probably have very little without that. But Skade in the other mind, where are they moving up to? They're moving along the road here. They're in vehicles. Good work from Smash. Probably the strongest position in this circle will be with v, uh, BBL. They are happily positioned on this. And once again, I look at Skade and go, if only... You'd pulled that position away. If only you'd committed on that shack and then worked from that side, you could be where BBL are. But BBL do manage to maintain, staking their claim on this circle and keeping everyone at arm's length. There is no one getting close by. DA is in a bit of a bevel, which actually gives him some level of protection here. Means other people have to go peeking on the ridge lines, and that's where VP could strike against BBL. Lou going down to rough Spyro attempts to body block unless he was just snatching the smoke nades from him to withstand something. But Tulin's falls as well. Yeah, their position, unfortunately, while it was room to play off the back of, getting across to that pylon has been murder. Absolute murder. The final smoke may go down. Ooh. Oh, hang on a minute. I thought they were going the wrong way. Okay, never mind. They're heading towards DA. BBL. Making presence aware. Understanding where DA is setting up shop. Still have to be careful of Skade, even though they are only two players strong. Look at how elevated they are compared to every yeah. other team. And Roadside's nice, but BBL's position is just getting more and more refined. Betralia style starting to move up, but does he get seen? Has anyone got eyes on this? Are you going to get the flush on Pixel? He's in the open. No, okay, that's the warning shot. Been punished for that overextension, but he's going to... Find his way back. Good work from Mutt. That's Spyro found. BBL, man, they, they are in the driving seat here. Look at their positioning, and you're right to bring up Skate. If they had four, I'd say that'd be a different conversation. Sadly, they don't. It's in a vehicle at this stage. Always going to be sketchy, but in desperate times, pull for desperate measures. We're moving to BBL's position. Four players up. DA2 hiding behind the vehicles. Two still. There to try and hold the line from Skade. Any other extenders will be punished, and that's the thing they need to be really careful of. Smash answers back onto DA. Okay, now they have the numbers advantage. Now they have the bodies that they can trade off of if they want to try and put one out and remove from position. They can afford to lose a player, for example, but they do need to trade off on it. They can't die needlessly if they do this. <sighs> the odds would be pretty wild. Threed up, though, geared up Sakura. What could Sakura do with this, right? Like, that's the thing. So he got it in him. Three vest, helm, two smokes, nades, barrel, SLR. I suppose Tasty. Timing's, timing's on BBL's side, though, right? They, can, they could camp if Needs they wanted. This. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. The overstep. <sighs> kind of <clears throat> lent in towards the unknown a little there. Couldn't. Correct, and Nuki, this would need something beyond expectations to pull off in the vehicle, drives away, and drives to his death. It's BBL with phenomenal positioning, capitalizing on that circle, moving from that northern side, taking the ridge line, taking that small shack, great nades, good timing on it, and taking it away from Skade, who could have potentially had that, and they got left on the roadside.